What's up guys? Just uh, been building this exhaust system here for my Pontiac and I'm almost finished but I thought I better do a quick video anyway because someone might get something out of it. Um, if not, doesn't matter. Not really wasting anyone's time but my own. Um, so I'll give you a little run through car's been off the road for nine, ten months to do this exhaust. Had issues with the hooker headers, um, couldn't get a couple of the bolts in. So that took me fucking ages. Me and my mate Conan, thanks Conan, um, put up with a lot of my swearing and bumping my head. So anyway, let's have a little look. So we got some old school date coated hooker headers. Now I actually just welded a V-band flange straight onto that flange. Now the reason I didn't cut that three bolt flange off was because if someone wants to um, save these headers and put them back to original, it's pretty easy to grind the thing off. Why did I go to V-bands? If you're not familiar with them, it's a male and a female interlocking piece with this tapered edge here. Now, it means it's one bolt per side. And I like things to be easy to take on and off. And if I've built it and they're hard to take on and off, then I hate myself for doing that. So just going through the pipes, what I also did was put flex joins just behind the V-band clamps, which means that I can probably get away with being five, 10 mil or two or three degrees out and it's still gonna bolt up. Um, yeah, so I ended up doing pie cut style, three inch jewel with the crossover. So benefit of the crossover, if you don't know, is it balances out each bank of the V8. So it just sounds a bit smoother, supposedly helps with your low end torque as well. Um, so I actually, had a lot of time at a previous job I was at. So I just set the bandsaw up 7.5 degrees um, and did a whole lot of cuts. Then I tacked them up in threes. So three of them gives you 45 degrees. Two of them gives you 90. Um, just a bit of a time saver really in terms of having them um, pre-done in threes because I pretty much knew that everything I wanted to do on this pipe was going to be 45 and back out. So yeah, I tacked it up on the car over the last couple of days um, and it took me five goes to get the mufflers level and in the same spot it's pretty painful but at the end of the day i'd rather get it done right also another thing that irks me is this weld here not on this side it's simply because i'm moving workshop this is my old workshop i don't have all of my materials here i literally only had that much so i had to join some stainless there to make up that other side all I've got to do now is finish welding that and weld, weld the tips on here. So I've gone for twin dumps out the back. Also, you'll notice the muffler is offset. So the inlet is offset right to the side and um, center exit. So that just, I went out on a whim and bought them and I'm glad I did because it, um, it enabled me to um, basically do what I've done there. So looking at the welds, not all of them are gorgeous. These ones here, they look great. 
this one here, this one here, not so great. Just basically little fit up issues under the car and you're not gonna see it, so I don't care. That's good enough for me. So let's go, let's finish her off. So another thing I did was I just added this little strap here just to stop the whole thing kind of vibrating in and out because over time that'll probably stress out some of these other welds down there. So it's time to install it. I'm gonna show you guys the install, just how easy those V-bands are. I'm sure it's gonna be um, because I'm making a video and that's just how it goes. It'll probably fall down and hit me on the head or something. So let's go. I'll be interested to see how long this takes me. Um, it'd be awesome if I could do it within five minutes. But, uh, you know, especially now I'm doing a video. We know um, everything's not gonna work out. I'm gonna go and get the rubbers on down the back first. Two more to do. Uh, just grab that V man clamp. Okay, put that in the right way. Yep. All right. Now you can see those little flex couplers there. Just made that so easy. Twist it right up so you can't. So she's all in there. As you can see, ground clearance is pretty good. The lowest part is the the part of the head is and the the you know it's pretty low but there's not a lot i can do about that so let's get it off and uh you'll see there's a bit of fucking dust and shit because the vibrations that this was making when it was running in here is causing the the roof to fall down so I need to take it outside give her a wash give her a drive but um Let's get it down, eh?
definitely got a bit of an exhaust leak in the front. Coming from this side, you can hear that. 